I have a few very fascinating images for you um, that I can talk through now. Uh, intuitive Machines, uh, Odysseus Lander landed. Uh, we did have a stable, controlled landing and a safe, soft touchdown. Um, it's pretty incredible. Uh, it's, it was a quite a spicy seven-day mission uh, to get to the moon. This is a photo that I thought you'd find interesting that we'll release to the public here. Um, here we're flying about 10 kilometers over the surface of Schomburger Crater near the South Pole region of the moon. Uh, we're still about 200 kilometers uh, up, um, uh, up range from, from where our intended landing site is. But uh, here we have a, uh, one of our public affairs cameras taking this beautiful image. And you see how shadowed and uh, you know, undulating the, the terrain is. And that's important to understand how difficult it is to, to land on the surface of the moon. I could say that it was quite uh, phenomenal that if you think about it, we were traveling 25,000 miles an hour and we came down and touched down at about six miles an hour with a downrange uh, tra traverse of about two miles an hour. That's walking speed. Um, so that's kind of uh, just an interesting metric for you. We traveled uh, two and a half times the distance to the lunar surface. That's about 600,000 miles uh, due to the trajectory and the number of orbits that we've uh, gone through. Uh, in doing that and in, and in performing that incredible deceleration, our first of a kind uh, liquid oxygen, liquid methane, additively manufactured 3D printed uh, engine um, burned six times for a cumulative burn time of over 20 minutes. Um, it's just an incredible performing machine and we're really proud to take that technology to a TRL level nine. Um, this is a picture of Odie on the surface of the moon, touching down with its engine firing. You see here the, the landing gear pieces broken off there on the left of the image. The landing gear did what it was supposed to do and protect the lander as it landed on the surface. The engine plume interaction with the surface, surface gives us this excellent view of how the ejecta, the regolith, moves away from the plume interaction. There's scientific information in that data right there. What you don't see in this picture is that we landed, our navigation system landed us with precision and landed us softly on the moon. The shock absorbers took the load and the lander now tilted over gently and we think it's about 30 degrees and uh, communicating um, all the way down uh, uh, to Earth. And I think Tim is going to give you an estimate of how much data we've actually brought down. There's a little image in the center of the white patch uh, on this that's an American flag. I want to highlight that that American flag was a donation by NASA and is from 1970 in the Apollo program. And it was a certified piece of flight hardware. And we took that American flag and we proudly put it on uh, Odysseus and carried it to the moon uh, like it should have been done 52 years ago. This picture shows the fisheye lens uh, kind of view of, and all of the data that's within the, how we're able to give you the images we have. Um, all the data is there in this wide angle view. And here we are how Odie conducted the brilliant six-day mission on the surface. You see the, the gold foil blanket is the helium tank. You see that we've, uh, we're tilted over slightly, still more upright than we initially thought. We did land upright, we captured data, and then we tilted over slowly in about two seconds and came to rest either on the opposite helium tank or a computer shelf, and we're able to communicate, get all six payloads data back, plus all the commercial payloads, and continue to transmit uh, as we go forward. Uh, brilliant uh, performance by a small lunar lander and a brilliant uh, commercial company called Intuitive Machines.